Hello, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our revision sessions. And in this particular lesson, I just thought of bringing in general some mathematics basics. In this case, I want to look at some algebra. And as I was teaching some students, I got um, kind of uh, disturbed when I saw that they couldn't solve uh, some questions that I gave them that involved some algebra. So I just want to go through with you this particular, I think I'll say three different things that I want to go with you in these um, videos. There are three videos that I want you to, to watch. It's a must watch if you want to improve your algebra. It involves ex exponents as well as the quadratic equation. So the first one says the important exponent technique. And I got this question that I want to deal with you in a quick um, way says important exponent technique solve for x and you want to solve for x here so now there are two questions let me just divide them and the question is how do you solve for x so I'm given for that dot means multiplying so 4 times 2 to the exponent x plus 1 minus 2 is equal to 2 so I need to solve for x so first things first what I need to do is to take now the 4 and the 2 they are separated by a multiplication sign so there is no way I can uh, transpose them but the negative 2 means I can take the negative 2 to the other side um, it will become 4 times 2 exponent x plus 1 is equal to 2 plus 2 so it was negative remember when it crosses the equal sign it changes from negative to positive remember that now with that I have then a 4 times 2 uh, exponent x plus 1 is equal to now 2 plus 2 is equal to 4 the next thing that is very important, remember, first, first of all, you take 2 to the other side to join the 2. The next important thing, since the exponent and the number, they are multiplying, so this is a multiplication. The opposite of multiplication is division, so you divide in this case. So always remember to do the opposite. Now, in the first case, it was minus, the opposite of minus here was a plus see that we're opposing so the opposite of division i mean of multiplication is division so we divide by four but what we do on the left we have we have to do also on the right so when you divide by four the four will cancel the four so that we have got two to the exponent x plus one is equal to four divided by four we get a one so avoid to say four divided by four is nothing it is a 1. If you use a calculator to say 4 divided by 4, as you can see, 4 over 4, you get a 1. I know sometimes it's tempting to say nothing, but that number, the placeholder for whatever you divided is a 1. Now, this is where the challenge comes in. To say, after you have given your answer like this, how do you proceed from here? That's where the students are struggling because... At the end of the day, you need to find x. Now we have 2 here. And you have 1. Now what do you do from here? Now you need to know this law of exponents which says a to the power of 0 is equal to 1. Meaning any number to the power of 0 is 1. For example, 1 to the power of 0 will give me a 1. 5 to the power of 0 will give me a 1. 100 to the power of 0 will give me a 1. So any number that is to the power of 0 is a 1. Now let us test that. If I say 1 to the power of 0, it's still a 1. We say it 5 to the power of 0, it is still a 1. 100 to the power of 0, it's still a 1. So it doesn't matter whichever number you want to use, but any number to the power of 0, zero is equal to 1. Now, since um, we have that law, this is the most important law, 
The second important law that I want to introduce for you in, in exponential equations is if you are given a to the exponent m is equal to a to the exponent n. So I want you to take note of this law. It says when the base is equal to the base, the left hand side base, which is a, is equal to the right hand side base, you equate the exponents. So these are the exponents and those are the exponents. Therefore, you can say m is equal to n, provided, remember, provided the bases are the same. So using these two information, the first thing I need to do then is to convert this one. You can see I have got a one here, which I need to convert using the first, the first uh, instruction here. What do I do? The knowledge that any number to the power of zero is equal to one. So what I do is I will match the basis. Two to the exponent x plus one is equal to, since I have a two, I'll also write a two here, but I will have it to the power of zero. Why? Because if I take again my calculator and say two to the exponent zero, remember this is a one. So it is the same one that I had initially, but now, why did I choose a 2? I chose a 2 so that I can use the second part of the law or of the rule, which says if the bases are the same, it means I can now match the exponents. And if I match the exponents, look at the exponents. I've got x plus 1. So I'll write there. x plus 1 is equal to the other exponent, which is equal to 0. So now I can transpose that plus 1. So that I've got x is equal to, from positive 1, it becomes negative 1. So the answer there is x is equal to minus 1. You can test it. How do you test it? You take the value of x here. Where there is x, you put minus 1, because that's, that's what we got as the value of x. And then you test it with your calculator to see if you, it will balance the equation. So you say 4 times... 2 to the exponent minus 1 plus 1 and minus 2. So where there was x, we put that value. The answer must give me a 2. As you can see, this is correct. So that is how you solve that. It's not complicated, but it confused a lot of students because what they, were, um, they didn't know actually what to do. So it was actually confusing at that stage. Now, there is something that I want you to for, uh, always avoid. Don't multiply 4 times 2. Uh, in this case, do not do not multiply that. To say 4 times 2 is equal to 8, don't multiply. That is wrong. There is another section I'm going to deal with that. I want you to take note of that. So check this video where I show you how to avoid that error. Now, let us go to the second part of this uh, lesson. We are given similar problem, 4 times 2, x plus 1, now is plus 2 is equal to 3. So what do you do? Do the same thing. Take 2 to the other side, it's positive, becomes negative. So you've got 4 times 2 to the exponent x plus 1 is equal to 3 minus 2. And then you have 4 times 2 to the exponent x plus 1. 3 minus 2 is equal to 1. Remember, we have to divide first by, since there is a multiplication here, we have to divide. So you do the opposite. So what are we going to do? We divide by 4. We divide by 4. And then with that, the 4 will cancel on one side. So that we have 2 to the exponent x plus 1 is equal to 1 over 4. So what do we do? We are using the same rules, the same rules that we did um, in, the, in, the, in the side to say, now we are looking at this particular rule to match the basis. So now the base is 2, you have to write 4 in terms of 2, such that you have got 2 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 1 over, now remember 4 is 2 squared. That's the most important thing. 4 is 2 to the power of 2. Why did I choose 2? Because the base is 2. 
now after that one I have to use the law which says or the rule which says 1 over a to the power of m is equal to now if I want to remove the division sign and take a, a to the power of m to the top what I do is I write a to the power of m but I put a negative sign so let me give you a, a scenario for example if I'm given just like on the other side if I'm given um, 1 over 2 to the power of 2 this is same as if I take it to the top using the same rule it will be 2 to the power of 2 but with a negative sign so if I take my calculator and uh, and say what is 2 to the exponent negative 2 you'll see that it will take me back to 1 over 4 which is what I had in this case so that is actually 1 over 4 so then I will, I will have here if I can continue so this will simplify to 2 to the power x plus 1 is equal to 2 to the power negative 2 then what you do again equate those exponents remember we said here I have got x plus 1 and then I've got minus 2 so it means x plus 1 is equal to negative 2 now you take the negative I mean the 1 to the other side you have got x is equal to minus 2 minus 1 and therefore x is equal to negative 3 so this is the answer in this particular scenario and what you need to do you take your calculator and say if x is minus 3 on this side and just to test your answer remember you get your answer you got your answer is um, x is equal to minus 3 so you've got 4 times 2 to the power of negative 3 plus 1 and then after that one is plus 2 the answer you can see that the answer there is equal to 3 so that is how you solve such exponential problems of algebra now remember to subscribe to our channel so that you can get, get more of these videos as you prepare for your final exams. I hope this was of benefit to you. Thank you.